Hi guys, welcome back to the final part of the video series. If you haven't seen the previous parts, please do check that out first, the links are given in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Substance Painter. Let's import the model over here. Go to File and select New. Now click on this Select button and choose the FBX file which we have exported from Maya. And the other settings I will keep it as default. Only I will change the document resolution to 2048. And now, go to Texture Set Settings, then click on Bake Textures. From here, I will deselect ID, and change the output size to 2048, and all the other settings will keep it as default, and then click on Bake Textures. After that, let's start texturing the model. Delete the layer which is already there. And now, from Shelf, select Smart Materials. And now, from here, select Bronze Armor, and then drag and drop it to the layers. Now then, play with all these settings, and see what looks best for you. After that, collapse this layer, then right-click on it, and choose, Add White Mask. Now then, choose Polygon Fill Tool, make sure the color is black, and choose UV Mode. And now, select all the parts which are not metal parts. Now then, for all these screws, I will change the color to black. For that, add a fill layer on top of the base color. And then, turn off all the channels, except the color channel, and then change the color to black. And now, right-click on the layer, and choose, Add Black Mask. After that, choose Polygon Fill Tool, change the mode to UV Mode, and then keep the color to white. After that, select all the screws which you want to give black color. Now then, create a folder, and rename it, as wood. Then from shelf, select materials, and then, choose this wood material, drag and drop it inside the wood folder. Now select this wood folder, right click and choose, add black mask. Then select polygon fill tool, select UV from here, and make the color white. After that, select the parts that will be wooden parts of the model. Over here, we can see that there is a seaming issue coming in the wood texture. To solve this issue, select the wood texture from the layer, and then from here, change the UV projection to triplanar projection. And then, play with these settings and see what looks best for you. After that, from the Bronze Armor folder, I will select the dirt and the surface details, then press Ctrl-C to copy, and then paste it in the wood folder. And now, for the remaining guard portion of the model, I will use leather fine edged material from the Smart Material shelf. Right-click on the folder, and add black mask on it, and then select Polygon Fill Tool and choose the parts to apply the texture on it. And then, play with the settings and see what looks best for you. And now, let's see how to apply patterns, or designs, on top of the texture. So I have these two alpha patterns which I have previously downloaded. 
And now, select alphas from the shelf, then drag and drop these two patterns on it. And now from here, change these two to alpha, and over here, change it to current session, and then import. Now then, inside this bronze armor folder, add a fill layer on top of the base colors. Turn off all the channels over here, except height and normal, and then increase some height, to 0.2. Now then, create a black mask on this layer, and then select this alpha pattern. And now, position it as per your choice, and then click once, to make a stamp, out of this alpha pattern. And now, adjust the height of this layer and see what looks best for you. And in this way you can create detailing texture like this. So in this way, I have created these patterns over here. As you can see these patterns are all in one layer. Likewise, I have created some other patterns using the same method, by applying different alpha patterns from the shelf, in separate layers, and then increased or decreased the heights of those layers as per my choice. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comments section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.